Got the news on Monday that Craig Council reportedly is interviewed for the managerial post with the Cleveland Guardians. Nothing new with the Mets, and of course, nothing new with the Milwaukee Brewers. We'll get the more Craig Council news. We'll get the latest talk about his options and all that. It's great to have options in this world, isn't it? All that coming up next here on Locked on Brewers. You are Locked on Brewers, your daily Milwaukee Brewers podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Everybody, I wanted to wait until later on on Monday afternoon. Once that news broke around midday, it was reported that Craig Council was interviewing for the Cleveland Guardians job. No interview yet with the New York Mets. That hasn't been scheduled. But the Guardian news had just been here for the last couple of weeks. And... I don't know. We'll, we'll delve into both of these. Chuck Freeman here, Locked On Brewers, part of Locked On Podcast Network. We are your team every day. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on Locked On Brewers on a Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning. Get us on Google, Spotify, Apple, on all the major downloads. We're the number one brewer podcast on the internet because of you great brewer fans out there. And, of course, our growing YouTube page. Go to YouTube. Search Locked On Brewers. You'll find me there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. We'll... Let you know every time we drop an episode right here on Locked on the Brewers. And, of course, follow me along on YouTube. Everybody follow me along or follow me on Twitter as well. Follow YouTube, but on Twitter, read all your comments on YouTube and Twitter. Chuck Freeman, F-R-E-I-M-U-N-D. Yeah, John Heyman reported from the uh, New York Post uh, midday that the Cleveland Ind- Indians, Cleveland Guardians, sorry, um, have, have – uh, scheduled an interview and he was in Cleveland. Now I saw a picture of him on Twitter that he, <laughs> that council was at uh, like a delicate tested at O'Hare in Chicago, ordering a Turkey sandwich. Now I, I think that was from today. He had his bag in hand and all that. He had sweats on and all that looked like he was probably taking a connecting flight from Milwaukee to Chicago. And then maybe on to Cleveland. Don't know if there was any direct flights from Milwaukee I don't think council's worried about getting the cheapest possible flight. I don't think he's one of these guys who flies down to Chicago, takes the the freeway flyer down there in order to save himself some 50 bucks, but who knows? But uh, he was uh, reportedly in Cleveland for the job. Now it's kind of odd that he has not interviewed for the New York Mets job just yet. No reports on that, even though the Mets have, have required uh, permission, just like the guardians to get council to interview Nothing has been scheduled so far. Now, there's been reports that it's coming. It's it's going to happen. just hasn't happened yet. So he went off and talked to Cleveland. Now, I don't know what he's doing here. If the Mets job is obviously better than the Cleveland job. Terry Francona with Cleveland last year made about $4.5 million. Council made about $3.5 million with Milwaukee. Now, was it money? You have a better chance at winning in New York than you do in Cleveland. Okay. Not that Cleveland's not going to spend money, but the Mets, I think, you have a bit, way better shot. Cleveland, you have a worse division. I mean, that division is not very good. The Minnesota Twins won the division, and they're an average, at best, baseball team. So if you look at it, there's an opportunity there. Now you look in the National League East, a little bit more competitive. You got to look up to the Atlanta Braves. So I guess, you know, for getting to the postseason, if it's about getting to the dance, you have a better shot at Cleveland. Now in New York, again, when you're in the same division of the Atlanta Braves, who's winning 100 100 games, yeah, it's a little bit tougher. So I guess, uh, you know, just thinking on the run here, I could see why Cleveland might be a better better opportunity, but you have more resources, I think, with the New York Mets. You know, I I hate being in this position, to be honest with you. I hate being in the position thinking that, boy, you know, which one, because we can't, you know, be in a small market, we're in a case where people just come and take and take and take our guys. Okay. They want to take Giannis. They want to take Aaron Rodgers. They want to take this guy, this guy, and we have nothing to do. We have no say in it whatsoever, really, because let's face it. Council is handcuffed with the Milwaukee Brewers. It, it, I hate it that we're in this position. We got to, Oh God, is he going to come? Is he going to go to New York? Is he going to go to Cleveland? Or is he going to get, give us the hometown discount and stay with us here in Milwaukee? the way it's working, the way it is, and I don't like it. And I know none of you like it as well. 
But yeah, the fact that he hasn't scheduled the interview with the Mets yet, and he wants to raise the bar for salaries for managers. There's no, he's made no secret. He made three and a half million with the Brewers last year. Frank Kona, four and a half million. He'd probably want at least five. And who knows? You know, I heard, you know, people ask me this weekend, you know, what is he going to, what kind of salary is he going to demand? Well, I sure he's, he wants more than three and a half million. It's also been reported that his wife very much likes New York. His wife, Michelle, seems like a nice lady. Don't know her, but I know people who've been around her and say she's, she likes New York. She likes New York. Craig likes New York, according to reports. They're intrigued by going out to New York. Now, they still have some kids still in high school. I don't know how that would work, but his wife likes New York. He likes New York. Stearns is also New York. Um, is he going to use that as leverage for the Brewers job? I don't think so. I, I don't think it's going to be one of those things where he comes back to Mark Antanasio and says, well, Mark, the Mets have offered me $8 million. I'm just using $8 million. I don't think that's going to be the case. It's it's sure it's, there's money involved. He's going to get more money at the Mets, but there's also you have better groceries to work with than you do in Milwaukee. That's no secret. So it's it's about a raise, obviously more money. Why wouldn't it be for anybody? But it's also better groceries to cook with. Now the Brewers reportedly made him an offer after the season. Mark Antanasio, did he do this? Craig, he made three point five million last year. We're going to up that to 3.55. How about that? I'm saying that facetiously. It's like a guy I know, radio station. Hey, we'd love to have you come over here. We'll up your salary by a thousand bucks overall. I'll get right on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Mark Athanasi reportedly gave him a contract offer at the end of the season. I didn't see any terms of it, what it amounts to, but I would think it would be more than $3.55 million a year over the $3.5 million he made. But we'll see. We'll talk more about this. Craig Council, again, kind of been a holding pattern. Chuck Freeman here, Locked On Brewers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. We are your team every day. NFL season is upon us. Score big with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $100, $150 in bonus bets with every $5, with any winning $5 money line bet. It's a 500, and that's a $150 bet of free money, bonus bets, if your team wins. So make a $5 money line bet, you get $150 in bonus bets. If you've been talking about uh, thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in any action right now. NFL season going on, college going on, World Series going on. The app is easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over and unders, and a whole lot more. Visit FanDuel.com slash lockdown. Kick off your NFL season. We're in week seven, week eight. FanDuel, the official partner of the NFL. Again, they have all the major sports college on there as well. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. This is Chuck Freeman, Locked On Brewers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. We're coming right back after this. Welcome back. Locked On Brewers, part of Locked On Podcast Network. We are your team every day. He's the only candidate in New York. Have you heard any other managers being mentioned? In Cleveland, you've heard Stephen Vogt being mentioned, uh, possibly Andy Green from the Cubs. Um, but you have, and he's the former manager of the Padres, but he's uh, you know on the, on the staff with the Cubs. But... No other candidates with New York. You haven't heard anything. You haven't heard John Heyman. Nobody else. Boy, John Heyman sure wants uh, Craig Council in New York. Oh, he he sure does. Former national writer, and, and now he's with the Post or Newsday. One of those. One of those. He's a New York writer these days. But you know, he's wrote, written a piece on why he would be great in New York, and all these pieces. I mean, everything he's writing these days is about. Craig Council, how great he would be in New York. So everybody, the national media loves him. You know, they want to take him out of Milwaukee for sure. But, you know, and, and you know, they'll throw dirt on Milwaukee saying he's handcuffed, which he has in Milwaukee. We know that. But I don't, you don't like it. When, you know, it's one thing when we talk about it. It's one thing when New York talks about it. When New York talks about it, you know, you kind of, you get angry about it. 
and say a few swear words. But when we talk about being handcuffed here in Milwaukee, we get it because we live through it every day. He was named the Sporting News Manager of the Year. Craig Council was. Congratulations out to him. Deserved it. I've said all along. Yeah, Manager of the Year. Deserves it. Why wouldn't you be Manager of the Year? You, you took a team that was not supposed to make the playoffs, possibly complete with, compete with San St. Louis. And yeah, do I think postseason awards, the postseason should be involved in it? Yes. But you look at the other candidates, Brian Snitker with Atlanta, he failed early in the playoffs too, despite winning like 104 games. But I do think all postseason awards in all sports should include postseason. All awards, postseason. Regular season, yes, postseason should count as well. That's when the lights shine the brightest. That's when they shine the brightest. Right now, Lavallo of the Arizona Diamondbacks, how come he's not given consideration? He should. He got them to the postseason, and he is in the World Series right now, where all of us aren't, except the Texas Rangers. So I think, yeah, what you do in the postseason, what happens in the postseason should count. But congratulations out to Craig Council, Manager of the Year from the Sporting News. Remember when we used to get the Sporting News delivered to our house? came in newspaper form once a week and a wrapper. And then it went to a, a tabloid style. Now I think, I don't think they even print anymore. I just think they're a website. But I used to love the sporting news, all the box scores in there. I didn't realize they were still around even or that prominent or give it out postseason awards. But Craig Council, manager of the year. Um, maybe they are waiting. These teams are until November 1st, which is Wednesday before they announce if he's going to be a manager of their team. Uh, I delayed doing this podcast because that news broke around, broke around noon on Monday, and I thought, okay, don't want to cut this too early because just by the end of the day, he could be, and by the time I'm done with this podcast, he could be manager. I had my phone right near me with alerts, but I waited a few hours, you know, and then I know some of you like to well, listen to the podcast during drive time, but I wanted to wait a little later, just so I'm sure nothing has broken because I'm sure council's done with his interview. No news yet. He has not scheduled an interview in New York, but possibly that can happen. Of course, if anything breaks, we'll be talking about it here on lockdown brewers, several reasons why he should go to New York, but he's his first interview. Maybe he's just taking some batting practice with the guardians, you know, getting his sharpening up his interview skills, but does he really even have to interview for the Mets job? David Stearns knows him. He's got to meet Steve Cohen. I think probably if he hasn't done so already, that's probably part of the process, but you know, he and Stearns know, know each other. I would think with Stearns counsels his number one guy. That's probably why he isn't interviewing anybody else. He's going to sit on council. And if council doesn't take this and why would you choose Cleveland over New York? You wouldn't. All right, we'll come right back and wrap this up next. Chuck Freeman here on Lockdown Brewers, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. You get our you get our uh, podcast on Google, Spotify, Apple, or on all the major downloads. All the major downloads, you find us. We're the number one brewer podcast on the net, on the internet. And of course, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, search Lockdown Brewers, download us right there, and you'll get us every episode. We'll be here all week talking Brewers baseball with you and looking for that Craig Council news because that's the biggest news that's going to break here before we hit the non-tender date coming up in about 17 days. We're coming right back after this. Welcome back to Lockdown Brewers. Chuck Freeman here. Yeah, I mean, our first bit of news that we're going to report here on the offseason is going to be about Craig Council. You, You have to believe something's going to get done this week. My gut feeling something will be done by November 1st. They're probably waiting to his contract expires before announcing anything. And even though council has got permission with talk to the Mets, he has not talked to them, but again, they're probably waiting. I did see a a flash come up on my phone here just to make sure it was uh, no Craig council news. That's why I ducked away for just a quick second. So we'll keep at it. We'll keep looking. We'll keep our nose to the grindstone And again, when something breaks, we'll be right back here on Lockdown Brewers. Thank you, everybody, downloading us. 
Just want to give you a quick update on what's going on with Craig Council. Nothing's news with the Milwaukee Brewers as far as player personnel, but those non-tenders, possibly extensions could happen. Maybe some Brandon Woodruff, who knows? I'm going to be very interested, obviously, in Corbin Burns and how that works out. Same with Woodruff with the injury and some of these other guys, if they're going to non-tender, which I think if he didn't make the postseason roster, Rowdy Telez will be non-tendered. Be stunned if they tendered a guy who they didn't even think was going to be, who, who was batting third to start the season. Couldn't, wasn't, they didn't even think highly enough to put him on the postseason roster, which I get, totally get. We'll see. That's news we'll be following here, obviously, for the next couple of weeks as well. But like I said, any Craig Council news, we'll be right back here on Lockdown Brewers. Thanks for following me along. Chuck Freeman, Lockdown Brewers, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day. So long, everybody.